So YouTube memberships, it's a hot topic. Everybody, you know, a lot of creators want to get access to YouTube memberships. And so let's take a few minutes today in this video to talk a little bit about that eligib eligibility. Eligib try to say that really fast at uh, three times. Eligibility, alternatives, and uh, some details around YouTube channel memberships for your channel, how to get it, what you do, when you get it, all that stuff. So let's jump right into it, all right? But first, here's the intro. All right, so I think the best thing to do is just, I'm gonna share my screen. There's a couple things I wanna share with you guys here. So I'm gonna jump on and switch views. All right, so here's my channel. You can see that I do have YouTube memberships, the join button right here. So uh, let's do a little click. I always like to use these arrows just anytime I can. So we've got the join button right here. So if I click on that, obviously opens up the YouTube uh, channel membership options for my channel. So again, would love for you guys to support the channel this way, but no obligations. Uh, just wanted to show this to you guys. So this is what happens, all right? Now I am uh, super transparent. I haven't put a little introduction here, but you could, once you get access to channel memberships, you could put a video that shows up right here. So telling people, hey, this is what my membership options are, this is what you get, these are all the things, um, and something really quick and snappy. So that's something that you'll be seeing show up on my channel membership uh, when you click on it in the pop-up very, very soon. But that's channel memberships right there. Now, let's talk about what is the, uh, how do you get, you know, how do you qualify, how do you get access, all that stuff. Eligibility, all right? I can't actually say that word. So there it is. So here is the, uh, directly from YouTube itself, all right? So here are a few things that you do need. Now, I'm gonna be super honest and transparent with you guys that I got access to channel memberships sort of out of the blue. I wasn't trying to chase it down. I wasn't trying to, you know, get access to it. It just kind of showed up inside of my, uh, dashboard inside of my YouTube studio dashboard one day and funny enough a bunch of other content creator friends uh, got access to it as well uh, around that same time that same week ish and so here are the things though I got this I got access to channel uh, sorry channel memberships I would say about I would say I'm gonna come back to this but I got access to channel memberships probably around the uh, 3,000 subscriber mark just to give you some context, um, I, I know some channels that are much, much larger, you know, much, much larger, over 50,000 subscribers that still don't have access to channel memberships. I also know a lot of uh, channels that are uh, a little smaller than mine, um, you know, just around between 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers that have access to channel memberships. So it's one of those things that I think kind of gets rolled out sort of almost randomly. But um, yeah, so let's go back into sharing my screen here. This is the minimum requirements uh, to get channel membership. So uh, first, you do need to have at least 8,000 subscribers. You do, uh, your channel is in the YouTube partnership program. So that means, what does that mean? 1,000 subscribers and then 4,000 uh, hours of watch time, right? In the last 12 months. Okay, um, what, is, what is next? Uh, 18 years old, okay, minimum requirement there. Uh, you're located in one of the available locations. So that is really key. So if you click into this, that takes you into another page right here. I actually passed it, so there you go. So you need to be in one of these countries, all right? That's where you need to be located. Um, and so Canada is there, so yes, made it. Canada is there, all right? Um, also, let me take a look here. So my friends, you know, uh, my, my fellow Filipinos, Philippines is there as well, all right? So make sure you look through here, make sure that your, you know, your country is here, and you can also, uh, you know, this is determined by your location settings, which you can click into here to find out, you know, where you set your location in. This is for those that are traveling, Maybe you're a digital nomad, maybe you're supposed, you know, you're based in the US or that's your, you know, home country of residence, uh, but you're traveling or, you know, you're sort of backpacking through and, uh, you know, moving around. Um, so just take a look. All right. So that's, that's one of the minimum requirements there. Um, the next thing is that your channel is not set as made for kids. All right. My channel's not set 
as made for kids. But for those that are set as made for kids, these are one of the monetization uh, channels or uh, opportunities that is not available to you if your channel is made for kids. Next thing here is that your channel does not have a significant, does not have a significant number of ineligible videos. So videos set as made for kids or videos with music claims are considered ineligible. All right, so that's very important, okay? Um, and you or your MCN have agreed to and are complying with our terms and policies, including the relevant commerce product addendum. So if you're working with MCN, um, then this is one that you have to be aware of. All right, so those are the minimum requirements. Now, I will put a link to the uh, URL here in the description. If you wanna go check this out for yourself, uh, definitely, definitely advise you to do so. I think it's really important. If this is one of the ways that you wanna monetize your channel, then by all means. Now, the good news is that you don't need to have channel membership to build a membership. I've talked about this before, but there are definitely alternatives out there and you can look at, you know, alternatives. Just Google, uh, you know, YouTube channel membership alternatives. That's gonna show you a bunch of different places where you can build a membership, where you can collect and charge uh, recurring, you know, membership uh, fee um, and then offer different deliverables or different perks to your uh, members, all right? So let's go back into sharing my screen here. One of the th things that I mentioned, I've mentioned this in previous videos many times, what is buymeacoffee.com. So this is a really good place to create a um, membership, buymeacoffee.com. So you can create one literally, literally right here. You can put in your URL that you wanna use, your name, and then it'll be buymeacoffee.com slash Rob or something. I'm sure that's already taken. Uh, but uh, you set your URL, you create start my page right here, and away you go, all right? So it takes, <laughs> it's very true. It's free and takes less than a minute, all right? And so there you go. So it gives you some, uh, you know, screenshots of their, uh, you know, uh, dashboard and what you can expect to see. You can see all of your recent supporters. Uh, and then you can kind of scroll through, uh, love by over 200,000 creators, that's awesome. You can also see some examples. So, you know, video creators, which is what you are most likely, uh, maybe not, uh, but you are some type of creator, maybe a writer, musician, podcaster, artist, developers, nonprofits, and just to kind of toggle through here, let's say you're a podcaster, uh, here are some examples. And you, you can go check out there, um, buy me a coffee page, this is an example right here. So it's very similar to Patreon if you've already, you know, uh, used Patreon or uh, supporting anybody on Patreon. You can also, when people come through your page, this is something you can set. As I've seen some people, maybe it's not buy me a coffee, maybe it's buy me a beer or buy me a pizza or buy me a tea. And then each one you can actually change. They can buy you one, three, five, or they can fill in the amount Itself. So maybe they can buy you a hundred, you know, pizzas or coffee, right? They can also then put in their name, optional, um, and also a message. And again, that is optional. And then they click on support and they can click on support and they can, because I, I have supported some uh, fellow creators as well through this as a supporter and uh, you can use your credit card. Uh, they can also use PayPal, that sort of thing. And then here, all the supporters, it's kind of like a wall. So it's kind of a feed. So, uh, you know, uh, you can see uh, some of, on your page, you can see your supporters messages and um, how many, you know, coffees or beers or pizzas they bought you. And so it's kind of nice, you know, people can kind of see that, hey, you know, people are supporting uh, this creator, uh, which is really cool. All right, so again, buymeacoffee.com. It's an awesome way to, again, this is good for both, and I'm glad that they mentioned this, this is a good place to, uh, or a good platform to use to build a membership where it's like recurring but also for people that just wanna thank you one time, like maybe you have a, um, you know, a tutorial that you created that helps somebody and they're like, how do I pay you back? Like, I'm so thankful for you. How do I pay you? You're like, well, I don't really like, how do I, you know, uh, 
why don't you just go to buy me a coffee? And then they can just kind of send you, you know, sort of a, you know, one time support, sort of buy you a coffee or buy you 10 coffees or buy you 20 pizzas or whatever you have set. And they can send you that one time gift. Um, so that's a really cool perk. Um, you know, more and more people want to do that, right? People do want to thank you some way for helping them through your content. So, uh, so there you go. So buy me a coffee. Um, and I'm just going to see here and then you can dive into this. Um, you know, you can have different perks for people that are paying and you can have different levels of membership similar to YouTube channel memberships. Okay. Again, I'm not affiliated with buy me a coffee. I just want to share uh, a really cool resource for you guys here. All right. So that is buy me a coffee right there. The other alternative that's really popular, of course, which is similar to buy me a coffee is Patreon. And so you can start a Patreon um, page uh, anytime as well. And I won't go through it, but you know, again, Patreon, um, so you can get started. Similar to buy me a coffee, people can uh, sign up for a membership. Now with Patreon, I believe this is always recurring, all right? So whereas buy me a coffee, there's the recurring, sort of like forever un until the supporter cancels that membership or supporting you each month. Um, or they can also send you one-time gifts, whereas Patreon, it is more always just recurring. It's a membership always, okay? So um, at least at the time of this recording, <laughs> uh, that's what Patreon, that's how Patreon works, all right? So that are, that, that's a, a couple different uh, options there as alternatives to the YouTube channel membership. So hopefully, that is helpful to you uh, today. If you have any questions around this, if there's anything specific around channel memberships, I would love to hear what questions you have because I would love to create some more content around this. I really think that you know creators should always be building revenue streams and um, you know ways to generate an income and um, you know money through their content, through their art, through their craft. And so this is one of the ways to do it. So if you can't, don't have channel memberships yet available on YouTube, there are always options. And I encourage you, no matter how big or small your channel is, uh, talking to the folks out there that, you know, feel like they have a small channel, that why would somebody want to support me, send me, you know, coffee and donations and gifts and things like that? I urge you, encourage you to start something like buy me a coffee or Patreon so that, you know, people know that they can support you. They can, they can, compensate you and thank you for helping them. All right. So I want to make sure that that you guys are all doing that. So um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, it's been really fun creating this little video and I hope you're enjoying this channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you are not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I see you guys and leave a comment so that I can I can get to know you a little bit better. So just even just say hi. If you don't have any questions, all good. I'm glad that this answered most of your questions. But if you have any any questions, let me know, but just say hi. Say hi in the comments, don't be shy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.